Welcome, Gemini, to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. Last one. Okay. We have the cow. Nourishment, abundance with the dog. Loyalty, sincerity. Uh, it looks like somebody's kind of uh, regressing here, understanding uh, that they had something really special, uh, almost wanting to kind of make something different, turn things into a, a new way of being. It feels like uh, almost like some sadness coming from it as well. I wish I had treated you better. You were the best thing in my life. Yeah. Um, there's some regret here. Okay, acknowledgement of uh, past mistakes, possibly wanting to do things differently here. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Wands. Yes, this is about hanging in there, okay, sticking to your guns as well as being cautious, okay, understanding what it takes to survive. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Hermit, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So you kind of feel like uh, this week in general, um, you just want to kind of stay to yourself a little bit uh, in your own thoughts and feelings, not really wanting to open up too much to uh, people in general and let you know, let others know how you truly, truly feel because uh, it feels like people kind of judge you in a sense or kind of input their opinions too much into any situation you're in, especially if it's in this relationship. Um, I'm also seeing too that, uh, you know, in regards to your person, uh, you're just trying to figure out why this person played the way they did. Why did they not take this seriously? And why did they promote running around almost like a banner here? Uh, just promoting that you both will be together forever. This is something that, uh, you know, they truly, truly want, but then it didn't end up that way or they didn't take action on it. Uh, why were they pushing it so much or if they weren't pushing it, they were acting as if uh, in the Knight of Wands using passion towards that to kind of get you interested here. So let's see what's going on in your person's energy. We have Knight of Swords, Emperor, and the Five of Swords. Some of this Five of Swords, please. Page of Wands. Come with this Knight of World card. Okay, so the, your person this week, it looks like uh, they are really trying to gain some headway, but doing it their own way. They're not really thinking of your best interest at heart here, okay? Emperor Knight of Swords, they really are uh, wanting to take control here. Be kind of erratic. It's almost the spontaneous energy of wanting to come get what's theirs and, um, you know, kind of darn the consequences, basically. They don't want to uh, think about if it's going to hurt you, even if they come in like this, if there's been no communication for a while. Because I see, even with the Hermit, uh, there's been no contact. You've kind of had to sit in your own feelings and kind of dwell on what is going on and how do you truly feel uh, about this, as well as looking at all of the things that have happened from the past, all the things they've done here. They're not taking that into consideration as they kind of are gearing up to kind of push forward here and contact you. Um, the only thing is, is they're just not wanting to take no for an answer. They're very uh, stubborn, okay? Tell about the Emperor. Three of Swords. They feel like they have to get something off their mind. They feel very hurt as well as they've hurt you. They're acknowledging this here. So they feel like this is like time's ticking. They need to do this now. Um, and they're not taking no for an answer. That's basically what I see here. Okay, so let's see... I want to see this world card real quick. Eight of Wands. Yeah, everything's like rush, 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 rush. 
not even thinking about, uh, you know, letting you say your piece or even be okay with not, you know, being in this connection. It's like, I'm going to go get my person. That's it. I'm not taking no for an answer. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person's rushing forward. In a sense, I have to say this because I have to be honest, you know, they do want to comfort you a bit, make you feel safe with them again, but it's at their own um, cost here. It's, only, it's, it's like because they feel that way, not because they really ultimately want you to feel that way. So let's see what's happened uh, in the past. We have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So in the past, again, like I said, they were running around with this banner. Like, you know, yes, I'm the one for you. Like, the, you're the one for me. This is what's happening here. Uh, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, they really acted as if, okay, they were really putting work and dedicated towards this connection and they really did at times make you feel special right by what they say but it was like not all the time and it was like too much or i'm just picking up excessiveness here where it seemed to bring a lot of doubts towards you if they were being serious or if you could believe them it seemed like too cookie cutter okay because nothing was backing it up as well so it was very suspicious here it seemed like this person always had a motive possibly behind them how about the eight of pentacles two of wands so they made it known to you that yeah very romanticizing here but they made it known to you that they were going to kind of make a decision in their life to uh, possibly commit towards uh, this connection and that you were the one for them. Um, or even if they didn't say it, Gemini, what I'm seeing is their energy was pushing that to you just to make you feel so good to be in this connection so they could always come back, right? Very in and out. Okay, so let's see what the challenge was here. We have the King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. The challenge was two polar opposites, as well as someone not investing the way that they should have, uh, taking too much from you, as well as leaving a lot of damage behind, a lot of stress, a lot of emotional uh, upset. You always felt like you were felt triggered or left in your emotions, uh, wondering and over analyzing exactly what they were doing or what they were up to and it became too overwhelming here tell so this king of wands six of wands their pride led the way yeah their ego was a big factor here and i see that in the current moment even in this five of swords okay emperor they take control and it has to be their way basically uh, you don't really have a say so or try to say too much because then they may never come back. So you kind of learned your lesson early on to kind of let them lead the way. But uh, as time went on, they took so much control that this became something that was uh, hard to deal with. Very, very hard to deal with. Some of the seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. Yeah, this person could be giving into two situations as well. Okay, investing in one more than the other or had set roots down into one situation more. Okay, possibly a committed situation. Tell me the Queen of Swords. Temperance, yeah, always putting you in this position of uh, feeling like you need to protect yourself. What are they up to? But then when they come back, they're so loving or so over, you know, overly um, passionate it just like you feel like you have to melt into that. You have to mold towards their direction and their way. Otherwise, you'll just lose them. They'll just not come back. So it's kind of like you are silenced in a way. And put it always puts you on guard feeling like, you know, you weren't sure what's going to happen next, what, how they were going to come towards you next, like the Nine of Wands. So let's see what action they're going to take this week. We have the Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Hierophant. Okay, so we have this person from the current moment uh, 
wanting to come in. They're being uh, very erratic, okay? Wanting to get their point across, coming in to only get you, and then have it be the same way, okay? But what I see here in the action is they kind of get a wake-up call, okay? Uh, with the Hierophant here, it's almost like uh, the universe stepping in, okay? Kind of pulling this person back, saying, whoa, wait a minute here, okay? We're not going to play this game again, right? Um, it's like they just want to have you, but only for their own selfish needs, not for, you know, anything else. Um, but this is about nourishing, understanding the ebb and flow of things and also how to be balanced, how to nourish a connection as well as give as much as you take an equal reciprocity situation. Um, and so it's kind of like they're putting a time out here, four swords, four pentacles, here font, knight of pentacles. This is slowing them down completely and going, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you truly love this person, you do want them. There's something that you need to do right here. Okay, Hierophant. I see now why the dog and the cow are here. The universe is really pushing this person and they're starting to acknowledge, okay, in this week. Um, even though they start off the week in that current energy, uh, they're starting to understand what it takes to be loyal, what it takes to uh, have reciprocity. Uh, and as well, be an equal partner in a connection. Uh, it's almost like they're having to really learn this lesson. So in the extended, we're going to find out exactly when the universe lets this person out of timeout. Okay, what's going to happen here? What action they're going to take towards you, as well as what they're going to say. But mainly get like the timing around this too. Okay, as well as the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.